they come, long before the birds of summer, while the ground still lies frozen beneath them. Found only in North America, the bald eagle has returned to the boreal forest to begin nesting once again. Here, in the north, timing is crucial. Few feathered species are resilient enough to survive a winter. It is now March, and the bald eagle arrives at its nesting territory while snowstorms are still common and food is scarce. Mainly a fish eater, the bald eagle must now feed alongside scavenging ravens. Until the lake thaws, the bald eagle's survival depends on these abandoned carcasses and winter-killed animals. Although it hardly seems to be spring, the bald eagle must begin its nesting ritual. The male has arrived first to secure the breeding territory, with its mate following just days behind. Once she arrives, the courtship begins. Only in its fifth year does a bald eagle gain the white head and tail of a breeding adult unmistakable markings of a monarch of the sky. It is often thought that eagles mate for life. Some may, but others will stay together only as long as they successfully reproduce. It takes two healthy adults to raise the young, requiring a strong commitment from the mated pair. The aerial acrobatics of courtship strengthen this bond. Few trees are suitable for the massive nests of eagles, making existing nests a precious resource well worth defending. A nest may be used for as long as the tree stands. Built up year after year, some are even used for generations. The result is a great conspicuous mass of twigs. Piece by piece, Materials are brought in and the nest lined with greenery and grasses. Up to 20 kilograms may be added in each season. The eggs are laid so that hatching coincides with the thaw of the lake ice, opening up new hunting possibilities for the bald eagle parents. The frozen lake that once seemed so desolate is transforming as life fills the boreal lake and surrounding area, each day bringing new arrivals. One such arrival is the osprey. It is a true fish raptor. Many creatures are drawn to lakes like this to take advantage of the new possibilities that spring brings. And the osprey is no exception. Where most other birds have just begun their nesting season, the bald eagles are well into theirs. Soon, they will begin the most challenging phase of parenthood, feeding the young. The bald eagle almost always nests near water and is a top predator in this aquatic-based ecosystem. Perched nearby, it can survey the lake looking for weak and unsuspecting prey.
Though the eagle may be a monarch of the sky, the tables can be turned. These ravens are serious about defending their own breeding territory. The nesting material that the bald eagle collects almost daily helps to keep a clean nest and may also help it strengthen the pair bond by showing the mate it is a good provider. Nesting duty is shared with the male and female taking turns hunting to feed themselves and incubate the eggs. The eggs will hatch soon, testing the pair's experience and ability to successfully raise the next generation. Hatched only days apart, three eaglets have entered a swaying world, high in the treetops, their home for the next three months. The first few weeks are crucial to the survival of the young. They will need constant care from the female who rarely leaves the nest until the chicks are older. During this period, the male hunts for the entire family. Bald eagle siblings rarely kill each other, but the competition for food can become lethal. The older and larger chicks will be fed first, so in times of famine, the youngest and smallest chicks may starve. With an unusually large brood, the eagles will need a surplus of food to raise three healthy eaglets. While the bald eagle diet is flexible enough to include other prey like water birds, they take mainly dead or dying fish. Surface feeding species, or those found in shallow water like these northern pike, are most susceptible to bald eagle attacks. Bald eagles take great care of their young, gingerly feeding them with a massive beak designed for tearing flesh. With such imposing parents, the young have little to fear from others. Agitated, the bald eagle will not tolerate the osprey in its territory even though it poses no threat to the eaglets. Osprey and bald eagles make uneasy neighbors as they compete for both fish and nesting sites. But the hierarchy is clear. Weighing three times as much as its rival, and with a wingspan close to two meters, the eagle is capable of killing an osprey with its deadly talons. The osprey, however, has the advantages of speed and maneuverability and these confrontations usually end non-violently, with the smaller osprey wisely fleeing the area. Where fish are abundant, osprey and bald eagles can coexist. Found on most continents, the osprey is a fishing specialist, with feet designed specifically for capturing its slippery prey. Its diet, in fact, consists almost exclusively of live fish. Just over a kilometer away from the bald eagle's territory, osprey are nesting near the lake for another season. Circling high over her nest, the female osprey is excited by the sight of her mate with a fish. 
there are two young chicks to feed. Male and female osprey have different parental duties. The larger female has incubated the eggs and now constantly guards the nest while the male hunts. It is too risky for both parents to fish, leaving the young exposed to the elements and to predators like the bald eagle. Having fed his mate since the eggs were laid, the male must now also bring in enough fish to feed the growing chicks. Each chick is fed, individually, by the female. Aggression between nest mates is rare when they are well fed. In fact, seeing an osprey runt or fights between siblings is a good indication that food is scarce. Fortunately, that is not the case in this nest. early July, and across the lake, the bald eagle nest is becoming crowded. It was not long ago that a nest full of eaglets was a rare sight. The use of the pesticide DDT nearly eradicated the bald eagle from most of its range. With the compound now banned, the bald eagle is making a remarkable comeback. So far, it has been a good season for this family. However, it is rare for bald eagles to successfully raise three chicks. The third eaglet's future remains uncertain. As the early morning fog gently lifts on the northern boreal lake, life resumes its daily tasks. For the osprey, fishing began with first light. Osprey are intricately tied to water, a bond so strong their physical adaptations are irreversibly linked to their food source. These fish raptors can hover high above the water, searching with keen eyes for their prey. They are undoubtedly fishing masters. Still it takes patience, skill, and a little luck to catch fish that are close to the surface. Oily, dense feathers keep the osprey afloat and waterproof, even while totally submerged. There are risks involved. On rare occasions, osprey may drown, unable to untangle their talons from a fish too heavy to carry. In most situations, though, they can swim to shore. For weeks, the male osprey has provided for his family. By cooperating, the mated pair has so far successfully raised the two nestlings. The timing of the first flight is often linked to the food supply. Well-fed youngsters will fly sooner but most will be ready after spending almost two months in the nest. Gentle winds that lift eagles to soaring heights can escalate to violent levels just as easily. A storm is brewing.
light pours through an opening where once a tree stood. Burdened by the sheer mass of the bald eagle nest, the tree could not stand against the force of the wind. The nest lies in ruins. The youngest and smallest eaglet is trapped beneath the crushing weight. A cruel end to a creature that had so far survived against the odds. Its two nest mates, older and stronger, were able to leap from the falling tree and survived unscathed. The height of their nest once gave them protection from larger predators like wolves and bears. Now they sit vulnerable on the forest floor. With their sharp beaks and talons, they are not totally defenseless, but the next few weeks, until they can fly, have just become a little more precarious. The summer heat is most oppressive at the forest floor, and the eaglet tries to cool itself. The flight feathers are still growing. It is at least two weeks away from flying. Though on the ground, the fallen eaglets have not been abandoned. The parents continue bringing food to their young, keeping a close watch. The youngsters' appetites are ferocious, and they are capable of eating almost as much as an adult in a day. At this point, the parents simply deliver the food and stay out of the way, leaving the eaglets to feed themselves. Now midsummer, the osprey family is thriving. Raptors like the osprey possess extraordinary eyesight. The female spots her returning mate long before any human observer could. They call to one another until they are in unison. Throughout the nesting season, the male osprey has consistently brought fish to the nest. But his parental duties will soon end as the young osprey are approaching their final days in the nest. For the nestlings, first flight often brings them to one place, the ground. Quite often, as with most raptors, the first to fly is the male, being smaller and faster to mature than its sister. But the young are not on their own yet, as the parents may continue to feed them for up to two more weeks. For this youngster, life beyond the nest begins. The challenges for these young osprey are many. Soon after their first flight, they must learn to fish for themselves and then survive the migration south. In a few short weeks, the northern lake will bid farewell to these extraordinary fish hunters as they depart for warmer climates. The bald eagles have different schedules to follow. Beginning in October, adults and immatures leave their nesting grounds and fly separately to more productive areas where they can survive the winter. Literally hundreds of eagles may congregate where food is abundant.
At this salmon run on the Pacific coast, the dying fish are essential to the bald eagles that have gathered from all over western North America. The young bald eagles are now completely on their own. They still have much to learn, and an easy food source can make the difference between life and death. Like their counterparts, the osprey, bald eagles are living links between the air, land, and water. However, these fish raptors are not just top predators in an ecosystem. Their presence is a sure sign that healthy wilderness areas do exist. But more than that, they epitomize the spirit of the wild, independent and free. Tomorrow night, this big cat is where it's at. We profile North America's cougar at the same time, 7.30.